guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 body moisturizers with ceramides that are not CeraVe. <gasps> what? Shocker, I know. First of all, what is a ceramide? A ceramide is a fatty acid in the skin that helps with moisture retention and skin barrier function. The skin barrier is really important for keeping irritating stuff out and hydration in the skin. When we are dealing with dry skin and irritation, the skin barrier can, can become impaired and using body moisturizers in general can help repair that. And body moisturizers with ceramides may help clue your skin barrier into making more of its own ceramides and repairing things more expeditiously. Do you have to have ceramides in your skincare products? Absolutely not. Uh, who can benefit from them? Uh, people with dry skin and eczema, um, there is some thought that using ceramides in your skincare products may help with uh, moisture retention long term, but that hasn't been proven. However, they're very popular and they seem to be helpful. The brand most well known for having ceramides is CeraVe. All of their skincare products have ceramides in them. However, for whatever reason, many people cannot tolerate their products. They find they burn, they sting. And some people uh, prefer to choose products that are cruelty-free and are vegan. Uh, so in today's video, I have a few cruelty-free vegan options. First and foremost is a Japanese skincare product that I have used, and I don't know that I've mentioned it that often. I think I have in a few videos. It's Roto Mentholatum's Care Sera AP Face and Body Cream. This product um, has petrolatum in it, which is a great occlusive ingredient and moisturizers to help seal in water and prevent what's called transepidermal water loss. This also has shea butter in it, a wonderful occlusive moisturizing ingredient. And as it says, you can use it on the face or the body. It's a really nice thick cream. It takes a little bit of time to absorb, but it, it's not greasy. If you have oily skin, I think you would enjoy using this on both the face and the body. It's also got an oligopeptide in it that is purported to help boost up hydration and help with skin barrier restoration, oligopeptide 24. This is a really thick cream and it says you can use it on your face. You absolutely can. It's a fantastic facial moisturizer in addition to a body moisturizer. But I also encourage you to consider the baby lotion or baby milk, I think it's called, face and body. This one's a lot more lightweight. It's more of a lotion. Um, and it, in contrast to the cream, I don't believe this has the oligopeptide, but otherwise it's of course got ceramides and it too is fragrance free. So it's a little more lightweight um, and another great option for dry skin on the face and body. All right, a product that I've been trying out over the past month and is new to me, a brand that's new to me, it's a Korean brand. This particular product is not only cruelty free, but it's also vegan. It is the Rovectin Barrier Repair Face and Body Cream. This product has astaxanthin in it. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Which is an antioxidant that, you know, in theory can help fight free radicals, but whether or not that actually occurs in skincare products is hard to say for sure. Anyways, it has that in, in the product. It's also got panthenol, a wonderful skin conditioning agent that helps with moisture retention as well. This is a really wonderful thick cream that's similar to the Cera product, um, absorbs pretty quickly and is not greasy. It's also got peach kernel oil in it, which is an emollient to soften and smooth uh, dry skin cell edges and kind of smooth things down. You can use it on the face and the body. As a side note, if you have a body moisturizer that you like, try using it on your face. Don't marry yourself to the marketing of body versus face. Most body moisturizers can be used on the face. If you try it on the face and it's not comfortable to you, it's too greasy, it's too heavy, or it burns or stings, well then, you know, of course, there are plenty of facial moisturizers out there for you to, to try out. But definitely try your body moisturizer on your face. Uh, one, you know, if it works out, that's great. One less thing you have to, have to buy. All right, this product I've mentioned in a lot of videos, including my recent Sephora sale picks video. It's a good one, it's the first aid uh, Beauty Ultra Repair Intense Hydration Skin Protectant. Now this product has colloidal oats in it and it's a really thick, I just got this one actually. It's a really thick cream. 
It's got colloidal oats in it though, and what I was getting at is those, like ceramides, are really helpful for improving moisture retention in the skin. The colloidal oats, they um, act as a skin protectant, so they really help with keeping hydration in. My one issue with this product, I've mentioned in several videos, is that while it claims to be fragrance-free, it does have eucalyptus oil in it, which is, I think, it, acting as a preservative in the product, but if you have true fragrance allergy, that could cause a problem for you. This also has shea butter, a wonderful uh, occlusive for holding in water into the skin. And this also has licorice root. Now licorice root is anti-inflammatory. It can help calm down redness. It helps uh, with skin barrier restoration. But another nice thing about licorice root is that it can have a skin brightening effect. And it's gentle enough to use in sensitive areas like uh, the armpits, where a lot of other skin brightening ingredients are just too irritating there and end up causing more harm than good. Uh, licorice root is a good ingredient to consider in those areas because it helps add hydration, it helps calm down irritation, and it can have that skin brightening effect. It can be used you know, in the inner thighs, another area where you have a lot of rubbing and you don't wanna use things like exfoliating acids to improve hyperpigmentation, licorice root is a good choice. Um, so this, this is a good one, it's especially in areas where you've got hyperpigmentation and friction and rubbing. Uh, this is good because it creates a barrier to reduce those frictional forces. And then you've got the licorice root in there for brightening. So licorice root's a good ingredient. Another ingredient that's good in that regard is niacinamide and soy. Those of you out there who want both cruelty-free and vegan skincare products, check out, I've talked about this brand before, but check out Earth Science Ceramedics. Uh, this ultra moisturizing cream is really good. Um, it's nice and thick. This one's really good for particularly stubborn dry patches like on the elbows. You can certainly use this on the face, but it is, it is pretty heavy and it is a little greasy, but it does ultimately absorb pretty quickly. So I like it on the body. I prefer it that way, but you certainly can use this on the face. It's got cocoa butter in it, um, a wonderful moisturizing ingredient that helps seal in water. It's an occlusive ingredient. And in addition to the ceramides, it's also got dimethicone, a lightweight synthetic oil that uh, is non-greasy and also helps seal in hydration into the skin. Yeah, if you are looking for vegan skincare products, definitely check out the Earth Science Ceramedics products. They're really good. As a matter of fact, they just came out with a facial moisturizer that I think uh, is more like a lightweight facial moisturizer for people with oily skin. I haven't tried it yet, but I imagine it's good. Um, all of their products are fantastic. And I think they came out with a new face wash too. So this is a great brand. I get this on iHerb, um, but you can get it, you know, you can buy it from Amazon, I'm sure, or their website. You cannot go wrong with a use to run product. I have yet to have a use to run product that was a fail for me. And their advanced repair series is fantastic choice if you're seeking a ceramide body moisturizer. I have the advanced repair lotion here, but they also make a cream which is much thicker. Now, what I like about these products is that they also have urea in them, which is fantastic for uh, the skin barrier. It helps in promoting natural moisturizing factors and adding hydration in the skin. So you have that in addition to the ceramides. It also has lactic acid, which can help soften dry patches and um, improve hydration. And it has chondrous crispus extract in it, a marine extract that is a wonderful humectant. I mean, it can really hold hydration in the skin. And it's got glycerin, of course, a wonderful, uh, wonderful humectant. The occlusive ingredients in this are um, cyclomethicone, a lightweight synthetic oil that's non-greasy, and shea butter. Um, yeah, I love the Eucerin Advanced Repair line, uh, really good. And they have a cream that's much thicker than this, but honestly, the lotion is pretty thick. And I find that, you know, this, is, this meets my uh, body care needs just fine, but uh, you can't go wrong with, you really can't go wrong with any of Eucerin's products. Aveeno, their Itch Relief Eczema Therapy Balm. I've talked about this in so many videos, but I'm gonna bring it up again. This is fantastic for, as the name implies, people with itchy skin and eczema, and or eczema. It is super uh, occlusive, it's a balm. 
So this is perfect for those raw, red, inflamed eczema patches. I mean, this is a great product. Not only do you have the ceramides in there, but you have the healing power of their oats, uh, of oats, I mean, it's not like it's their oats. <laughs> um, oats, oats are rich in beta-glucans, which help with um, hydration. They also have avidanthramides, a type of antioxidant that may help with scavenging free radicals and barrier repair. I mean, oats have been used in skincare for a long time and there's so much data behind uh, oats and their healing properties. Oats are also a good source of uh, prebiotic fiber, which may help the, uh, micro, the, the good bacteria on your skin thrive. Now, while it's a balm and super, super occlusive, like, you know, really thick, it absorbs fairly quickly and doesn't leave greasy residue behind. So I really like it. And you know, for people with eczema and those raw and flame patches, one issue is that a lot of moisturizers are going to sting like none other. This, on the other hand, because it's more of a balm consistency, it's much more comfortable to apply to, I'm turning it around. It's much more comfortable to apply to those raw and flamed areas. I love this, it's very, very good. All right, the next one is Cetaphil Pro Eczema Soothing Moisturizer. I think I mentioned this one in my top 10 Cetaphil products video. Check that out if you are looking for the best Cetaphil products. Um, anyways, what I like about this is not only, of course, does it have ceramides, but it also has uh, a synthetic flagrin. Flagrin is another part of the skin barrier and people with eczema, they are often uh, deficient in that and that's part of what leads to dry skin and, and irritation. And so it's got those two things, you know, the ceramides and that. It's also got <clears throat> niacinamide, which can help with skin barrier restoration, is anti-inflammatory, and has that skin brightening outcome that's good for sensitive areas like between the armpits. Uh, this is a really good one. Uh, did I mention it has panthenol in it? Oh, and it's also got, like the Aveeno products, colloidal oats. So, I mean, it's really, uh, it's really packed with those eczema soothing ingredients. Colloidal oats, panthenol, niacinamide and of course ceramides another one that i used a long time ago and i don't think i ever really shared on here and i didn't mention it in my top 10 of this brand it's the polish choice daily replenishing body cream now i think the reason i didn't pull this out for the top 10 is because i mean in my opinion i for me personally, it's not much different than using CeraVe, but I do know that a lot of you guys are wanting um, a cruelty-free alternative to CeraVe. Check this one out by Paula's Choice. It's very good. It's a nice thick cream and it's got uh, shea butter in it. So it's kind of similar to a lot of the others that I've mentioned here, but a good option. And I know that uh, Paula's Choice is available to many, to more people globally than just the US, which I appreciate because it can be very challenging to recommend products to people in other countries. I don't always know what's available to you. So that's another perk. Um, it's also got jojoba seed oil and safflower seed oil. These are fantastic emollients that help smooth down uh, dry, rough skin cell edges and just kind of help overall luminosity of the skin. It's a good product. I never tried using that one on my face, but again, you certainly can. Product number nine is the Amlactin Rapid Relief Restoring Lotion Plus Ceramides. This is particularly a fantastic product if you have keratosis pilaris. I mean, amlactin is a go-to recommendation, a baseline for people with keratosis pilaris, that um, dry skin condition where you have the rough bumps and, and dryness, and those little bumps can look red. Uh, ammonium lactate, is you know basically lactic acid it's hydrating and it helps soften those little dry bumps and it's really helpful a really helpful ingredient for people with keratosis pilaris but so are ceramides in the sense that they help with the dry skin component of it definitely check it out um, and the ingredient list is very short otherwise so it's a fantastic one it's pretty affordable love it love it love it love it now, if you have eczema that is raw, red, inflamed, you may find that this product stings if you put it on those red patches. If you have keratosis pilaris though, like on your upper arms, and there's not like raw skin, this is fantastic for softening that stuff and it definitely yields results. All right, and then number 10,
right, I'm back. I left him behind. Necessaire, the body serum, love this product. What does it have in it beyond ceramides? It's also got polyhydroxy acids, namely gluconolactone, which can help gently exfoliate that dry, built up stuff. So it's really good. Again, if you have keratosis pilaris, it can help uh, encourage some skin cell turnover without being too, too irritating, without going hog wild on the exfoliating and leading to dryness. So it's really good in that regard. It's also got niacinamide, so it can help brighten up areas of discoloration. And it's got panthenol in it, a skin conditioning agent. And of course, it's got hyaluronic acid in it as well, a, a wonderful humectant for hydration. In my opinion, this is a fantastic moisturizer for the body as a maintenance moisturizer to keep you from getting dry skin or for targeting things like built up rough bumpy skin and discoloration, but it's also fantastic on the face and ends up being actually a pretty good value because this pump is 5.1 fluid ounces and these ingredients, you know, if you bought, you, you could find these ingredients in a facial serum and it would be, you know, about that price. I really like that this comes in this nice airless pump too. I've been greasing up so much I can't get it off. Um, because, you know, a lot of people don't like dipping their fingers into the jar. And honestly, it is kind of awkward to do that, to use jar packaging. I, I totally understand that. Uh, jar, jar packaging isn't bad in the sense that the product becomes contaminated. You don't need to worry about that. Um, but uh, the pump, in my opinion, is more convenient. This is a fantastic product in my opinion. I've recommended it in several videos. So those are my 10 body moisturizer recs for today with ceramides that are not CeraVe, but of course I adore CeraVe. I do appreciate though that it doesn't work for everyone. Um, and hopefully I was able to offer you guys a good spectrum of vegan and cruelty-free options. I wanted to m mention one thing while we're on the note of cruelty-free. I learned that First Aid Beauty is no longer considered cruelty free. But I learned that they now sell in China and so people consider that not cruelty free because China can mandate animal testing. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, you know, they don't test on animals here in the States but they are now selling in China so. There's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.